Hitman is a stealth video game series developed by the Danish company IO Interactive. The series is available on Microsoft Windows as well as several video game consoles, including the XBOX, PlayStation 2, GameCube, XBOX 360 and PlayStation 3. The game series has since expanded into a novel, Hitman, Enemy Within written by William C. Dietz, followed by Hitman, Damnation which is an official prequel to the installment, Absolution, and a Hitman film adaptation in 2007, which is loosely based on the storyline of the games. The film was negatively received, but became a financial success. The series revolves around Agent 47, a cloned assassin for hire, whose flawless record places him in high demand among the wealthy and elite. The first original scriptwriter was Morton Iverson, who wrote the scripts for Hitman, codename 47 and Hitman 2, Silent Assassin. He also contributed to Hitman, Contracts and Hitman, Blood Money. The games feature a mix of orchestral and electronic and musical scores, composed by Jesper Kide. A fifth installment of the series, Hitman, Absolution, was released on November 20, 2012. The sixth Hitman game is currently in production at IO Interactive, as a mobile and tablet turn-based strategy spin-off, Hitman Go. Story Overview The first game starts when 47 escapes from a sanitarium where he has seemingly been imprisoned, being guided by a mysterious overseer. After a year, he is shown to be working for the Cover International Contract Agency, or ICA, under his handler Diana Burnwood. He is sent on a mission to eliminate four crime bosses across the world, before being hired to kill a fifth target, Dr. Kovacs, at the sanitarium where 47 was imprisoned. As events transpire, 47 finds out that all his targets were part of an advanced cloning experiment, with him as the result. The perfect, cold-blooded assassin. Professor Ortmeier, himself the scientific head of the experiments, is revealed to be the client who ordered the hits and, to protect himself, sends a squad of docile, highly trained 48 clones against 47. With help from a fellow agent, 47 defeats the clones and kills Ortmeier. In the aftermath of this revelation, 47 tries to leave his assassin past behind, seeking peace in a Sicilian monastery, but is forced to become an assassin once more when his mentor and friend, Father Vittorio, is kidnapped. Getting back in contact with the ICA, he arranges with Diana that he will work for them if they help trace Father Vittorio. Eventually, it is revealed that Father Vittorio's kidnapping was orchestrated by Sergei Zavarotko, the brother of one of the men whose DNA helped create 47, to bring 47 out of retirement and kill everyone who was in on a deal by Zavarotko to purchase a nuclear warhead. 47 successfully infiltrates Father Vittorio's monastery, killing Zavarotko and all his men. Though Father Vittorio begs 47 to lead a good life, the assassin decides to return to the ICA full-time. A few years later, by the time of Hitman, Blood Money, 47's reputation has spread far and wide, with a large list of clients requesting his services. During the course of the game, it becomes clear that the ICA is under attack from a rival agency called the Franchise, who are also planting incriminating evidence against 47 through one of their agents, Alexander Leland Kane. Eventually, the agency is depleted to the point that Diana and 47 are the only ones left. 47 himself is nearly killed in Paris, prompting flashbacks over previous missions. Eventually, 47 kills one of the two top franchise assassins and is given a final contract by Diana, who has dissolved the ICA to take down the franchise. Soon, an old acquaintance of 47, former CIA agent Smith, reveals that the franchise, currently planning to assassinate the U.S. president, is merely a puppet organization for Alpha Xerox, a shadowy political organization who wished to monopolize the cloning techniques that gave birth to 47, they wish to kill the president before he can put a halt to their plans. 47 prevents the assassination, but must go into hiding from the franchise and the police. At his hideout, he is seemingly betrayed and poisoned by Diana, with the franchise preparing to cremate the assassin so his DNA cannot be used for further cloning experiments. 
47's death is later revealed to be a tactic which would bring 47 within killing range of everyone at the funeral, including franchise agent Kane. 47, his identity now a secret, then goes into hiding and Diana uses the remains of the franchise to revive the ICA. Years later, in Hitman, Absolution, Diana seemingly betrays the ICA, exposing it to the public. When the agency learns of her betrayal, they send operatives to eliminate her. During a mission, Diana is forced to suddenly abandon 47 when she sees that the agency operatives are coming for her. Due to her sudden disconnection from him, 47 is nearly killed during the mission and decides to cut contact with the ICA. The agency is eventually able to locate 47 once again. Benjamin Travis, who is Diana's superior within the agency, contracts him to kill Diana and bring a girl she has in her care, Victoria, to the agency. 47 infiltrates Diana's base and wounds her, but promises to keep Victoria safe from the ICA. It is revealed that Victoria is a clone, like 47, created in secret by Travis, whom the ICA would train to be an assassin. Diana did what she did to protect the girl from becoming like 47. The assassin soon comes into conflict with Blake Dexter, the head of Dexter Industries and a top figure in the criminal underworld, who wishes to sell Victoria to the highest bidder. 47 finds himself fighting to keep Victoria safe as she is hunted by Dexter's forces and the ICA. 47 eventually kills Dexter and his conspirators along with Travis and his lieutenants, saving Victoria. At the end, it is revealed that 47 spared Diana and it is implied that she and 47 are once more working for the ICA. Gameplay, the core objective in each level is to kill assigned targets. In most cases, Hitman allows the player different options to accomplish this task. Players can perform precise assassinations or slaughter indiscriminately in order to achieve the mission goals. However, the games reward a subtle approach by awarding special weapons or cash bonuses if players earn a favorable rank. 47 can also wear a variety of disguises to fool enemies and gain access to restricted areas. The focus of Hitman is not hiding in the shadows from the enemy, but rather blending in amongst them. It is up to the player to initiate violence, since guards do not usually open fire unless provoked. In every game, the player character, Agent 47 Feet, has limited maneuverability. He cannot jump, scale walls, or mantle up ledges. This generally limits the player to a single plane of movement, although he is often presented the opportunity to move to higher or lower areas through the use of ladders, stairs, elevators, or hills. 47 is given the ability to hop over minor obstructions in blood money, and can also climb certain edifices. There is also the option of climbing onto the top of elevators through the hatch, allowing the player to strangle a victim from above. A major feature in the game is the tension meter, detailing how much attention the player is receiving from the public or guards and is dependent on many things. For example, Walking around in a guard's uniform with the correct corresponding gun won't gather much notice, whereas running around in a waiter's uniform in a restricted area while carrying a visible weapon instead of an appetizer tray will result in an unwanted confrontation with the guards. In most cases, 47 is required to hide any dead bodies, to prevent alarms. As introduced in Hitman Blood Money, 47 can hide a body in a place such as a garbage dump rubbish bin. Many targets can be assassinated without firing a single shot. This style of gummy play became more prevalent in Blood Money, where the focus was to make some of 47's hits look like accidents. Accidents can be caused remotely with our UAP mines acting on some object, directly by pushing someone over a railing, and by other, more elaborate methods such as, replacing a World War I replica gun to be used in the Opera Tosca with a real World War I era pistol crashing a man's neck using weights during his morning workout, rigging a grill to set a victim on fire. The second game of the series, Silent Assassin, enforced the concept of kills without firing more than a single shot. As per the number of shots fired and stealth used, ratings were given after every mission. The best of these ratings was Silent Assassin, indicating no more than one shot per target with no alerts raised. Methods of assassination, 
the Hitman series permits the player to kill targets in a variety of ways, using firearms, melee weapons, or even conventional objects that 47 picks up. In Hitman, contracts, melee weapons such as knives can be used to kill in more than one method, including forward stabs, horizontal throat slitting, frontal slashes, repeated stabs under the ribcage, or thrusting the blade into the carotid artery. 47 also has a garrote, or fiber wire. The fiber wire is specially made for strangulation, with reinforced handles. He carries it with him on every mission, even those in which he is stripped of all other weaponry. It is also one of the few weapons which can bypass metal detectors. To achieve the ideal silent assassin rank, it is required that 47 only kill his assigned targets, and no one else. The sedative syringes, or chloroform in Hitman 2, Silent Assassin, exist for this purpose, so that 47 may incapacitate an innocent person to take items or clothing from their body without harming them, so it does not count against the player in the final ranking. In Blood Money, the ability to add sedatives to food and drink was added, to avoid direct confrontation. Blood Money also introduced the option to hold any NPC hostage using smaller arms and use them as a human shield and allows the player to knock the hostage unconscious with the gun, saving the player sedatives for food items or any impeding characters that are seated in chairs. In some missions, if a murder can be made to look like accidental death, some kills will not be counted as hits, but as accidents. Any civilians or armed personnel who witness a kill will count as witnesses, and will harm the player's rank if they remain alive or alert nearby guards. If however, someone dies because of an accident, it will not matter if there are witnesses. 47 has the option of killing witnesses before they reach a guard, but the unnecessary murder will still count against his rank, unless he kills them with an accident. Witnesses also include anybody who sees 47 changing disguises or holding a weapon. In the games prior to Blood Money, the only consequence of having witnesses to a crime is that they will seek out police guards and trigger an alert. There are mission-specific options for killing a target in certain levels. Notable examples include locking a target in a sauna to stimulate a heart condition and cause cardiac arrest, poisoning a target's meal, disguising 47 as a doctor and sabotaging a surgical operation, replacing a Prop Morza C96 handgun with a real one at an opera rehearsal, causing an actor to unwittingly kill the target, and causing stage pyrotechnics to explode and set the target on fire. In most cases, it is required that 47 also hide the body of killed or unconscious victims, in order to avoid any unwanted alarm or if this is the desired effect 47 can leave the victim's body in a wide open space for all to see. Hitman and Sinia The Hitman and Sinia appears in Hitman, codename 47 on the gates of Professor Dr. Otto Wolfgang Ortmeier's asylum throughout his laboratory and is formed by Professor Dr. Otto Wolfgang Ortmeier's pool of blood when 47 kills him at the end of the game. It also appears in Hitman, contracts on the floor of the cloning lab, this time as though it is the actual floor design, as well as on Ortmeier's belt buckle. In Blood Money, it appears on books throughout the levels as an Easter egg. The symbol is engraved on the handles of his custom AMT hardball pistols. After Hitman, contracts, the symbol is on the slides as well. It is also found on 47's equipment such as his laptop, briefcase and cell phone. In the film, 47 wears a pair of silver cufflinks with his insignia enameled in red. The Hitman insignia is a stylized fleur-de-lis. The fleur-de-lis is itself a stylized lily flower. This has been confirmed by IO Interactive on their official Twitter page. International Contracts Agency The International Contracts Agency, also known simply as the Agency, is Agent 47's employer. It is a worldwide, well-funded clandestine operation organization, with underlying connections to the Foreign Legion, providing assassination and mercenary services. Credited assassinations have taken place in the Americas, the Pacific Rim, and Eurasia. The agency enjoys the cooperation of affiliates such as the FBI, CIA, MI6, NSA and even elements within the UN. Although politically neutral and ethically immoral, 
the agency avoids accepting hits ordered by enemies of its allies in government bureaus. In addition, most of 47's assigned assassination targets are criminals. The agency's motto, the Latin, Merck's let for means literally, lethal trade. It is also interesting to note that the agency's logo itself is based on the original MI5 emblem replacing, along with the images themselves, the characters in the three corners, originally M, I, and 5, from left to right with IOI, for IO Interactive. The agency uses controllers like Diana Benwood as go-betweens with its agents. They provide freelance operatives like 47 with electronic correspondence and mission briefings. Contractors also sell intelligence briefings on the subjects of missions to their agents for the fee of $1,500 per file. In Hitman 2, Silent Assassin, 47's registration number in the agency is BRO3886. To date, the agency encountered and overcame a similar organization, known as the Franchise. The agency managed to survive, though only 47 and Diana were left. Media, a film adaptation of the game was released in 2007. The movie, Hitman, is set in a separate continuity from the game series. In the movie, the agency is replaced by the organization. Like the agency, the organization benefits from ties to various government agencies, is neutral in global affairs and morality, and performs missions all over the world. Unlike the game wherein the hitmen are contracted from a range of backgrounds, the organization instead recruits orphans and trains them from an early age. However, when 47 ties FSB agent Yuri Markolov to a bathtub, and a clock ticks in a laptop, the name of ICA is clearly visible in the laptop, instead of organization. On February 5, 2013, it was reported that the film is being rebooted with the title of the film being Hitman, Agent 47. Paul Walker was attached to star with commercials director Alexander Bach helming the project as his directorial debut. Screenwriter of the original film, Skip Woods, wrote the screenplay with Mike Finch. Filming is set to take place in Berlin and Singapore this summer. On January 9, 2014, Actor Rupert Friend will replace Walker as the character after Walker's death on November 30, 2013. On January 31, Zachary Quinter joined the film in a supporting role. On February 5, 2014, Hannah Ware also joined the film to play the female lead. On March 6, 2014 Thomas Kretschmann has signed on to play the high-profile villain role in the film, who already played the villain role in The Avengers, Age of Ultron. Kretschmann will play as Lysiel E.R.Q. On March 13, 2014 Dan Bagdahl has joined the cast of the film. On March 14, 2014 Syara N. Hines has signed on to star in the film as a scientist. Games, as of 2012, five games have been released and all of them were developed by IO Interactive. It is an action-adventure stealth-based video game series, although it is possible to switch between third-person and first-person perspective except in the first, which offers an optional camera angle comparable to one used in fixed-camera adventure games. Hitman, codename 47. The first installation of the Hitman series and it revolves around the test subject known as 47 escaping the asylum which he had been experimented on all his life and being employed by agency. 47 meets his handler, Diana Benwood. She assigns him to kill four criminal masterminds and then a doctor who is revealed to be the one who treated 47 at the asylum. 47 learns that he is a clone who has been trained since birth to become an assassin. The four criminal masterminds that 47 killed were part of the cloning experiment and that their deaths were ordered by Professor Wolfgang Ortmeier, the one behind the entire cloning process. Ortmeier planned 47's escape so he could have 47 kill the other four associates and use 47 for his own purposes. 47, with the help of a CIA agent named Smith, returns to the asylum and plans to kill his creator. Ortmeier, having prepared for 47's return, sends his group of Mr. 48s to kill 47. The 48s fail their duties and 47 confronts Ortmeier. 47 shoots Ortmeier, then snaps his neck killing him. Hitman 2, Silent Assassin. Hitman, Contracts. Hitman, Blood Money. 
Hitman, Absolution. Hitman, Absolution was announced by Square Enix and it was released on November 20, 2012 worldwide for Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 3 and XBOX 360. The fifth installation in the series offers a few different angles from which to observe your surroundings. As of March 2013, the games have sold a combined 8 million units. Hitman Go Hitman Go is an isometric tactics game playable on mobile devices. The iOS version was released on April 17, 2014. The Android version was released on June 4, 2014. Hitman 6 Hitman 6 is an upcoming stealth action adventure video game currently under development by IO Interactive, and will be the sixth entry in the Hitman game series. Originally, the game was to be developed by Square Enix Montreal however recently, their parent company Square Enix ran into financial difficulties, and they had large numbers of employees cut to save money. In addition to this, it was confirmed that IO Interactive would be working solely on Hitman 6 and would no longer be developing any more additions to the Kane and Lynch, Mini Ninjas or Freedom Fighters series. Square Enix Montreal, which was originally working on the next Hitman title, will now reportedly focus on developing smartphone and tablet versions of Hitman and other games. On January 16, 2014 an open letter was filed by IO Interactive for the fans, sharing some news details on the next game. Hitman Trilogy, Microsoft Windows and PlayStation 2, a Hitman compilation was released for the Microsoft Windows and PlayStation 2 containing the three games of the series. Hitman 2, Silent Assassin, Hitman, Contracts, and Hitman, Blood Money. The compilation is called Hitman Trilogy and was released on June 22, 2007 in Europe, and on June 30, 2007 in North America. Hitman, codename 47 is the first game of the series and follows a slightly different game mechanic from its sequels. It has been omitted most likely due to the fact that it was only released for Microsoft Windows as the trilogy pack was released for the PlayStation 2 as well. Furthermore, Hitman, Contracts includes most levels remade from Hitman, codename 47. Two years later, another Hitman compilation was released exclusively for Microsoft Windows called Hitman, Ultimate Contract, which now contains all four games of the series. Hitman, codename 47, Hitman 2, Silent Assassin, Hitman, Contracts, and Hitman, Blood Money. It was released on July 17, 2009, but it was only available in the European region. PlayStation 3 and XBOX 360, another Hitman compilation was released for the PlayStation 3 and XBOX 360 containing the same three games of the series. Hitman 2, Silent Assassin, Hitman, Contracts, and Hitman, Blood Money. This compilation is called Hitman HD Trilogy and was released on January 29, 2013 in North America, January 31, 2013 in Australia and February 1, 2013 in Europe. The purpose for this new release of the three latest Hitman games is to introduce new players to the series as well as giving old players one Hitman package and for the first time Hitman, Blood Money on PlayStation 3. Cancelled Games Hitman, Tactics a PlayStation Portable and Nintendo DS Hitman title was in development during 2006, called Hitman, Tactics. The game was never officially announced and it was cancelled for unknown reasons. Major Characters Agent 47, a genetically engineered assassin created from the recombinant DNA of five of the world's most dangerous criminals. The fact that the DNA came from multiple ethnicities allows 47 to blend into a certain degree in most places in the world, or at least not look immediately suspicious and out of place. His name comes from the last two digits of a barcode on the back of his head a Euro 640509-040147. He is a tall, bald, blue-eyed, no-nonsense individual and usually wears a suit with black leather gloves and a red tie and is known to disguise himself. Engineered from conception to be the perfect killer, 47's strength, speed, and intellect are above the human norm. According to Jacob Anderson, lead designer of Hitman 2, Silent Assassin, Agent 47 went from being a mean old hairy guy to having high-tech glasses before getting to his current design. 
more inspiration came from comic books, Hong Kong movies, and other similar media. According to game director Rasmus Hardjengad, the idea of a clone whose future is decided by the people that created him, intrigued the Hitman team. Hardjengad felt the idea of creating the ultimate assassin by cloning evolved with a character before the first Hitman game was done. Veteran actor David Bateson has voiced 47 in every Hitman game to date. Diana Burnwood, 47's handler at the agency. Diana briefs 47 on his assignments, oversees his progress, and serves as his guide over the radio. For the vast majority of the series, 47 never sees Diana, recognizing her only by voice, however, they do come face to face at the conclusion of Hitman, Blood Money and Hitman, contracts. Diana has an upper-class English accent and a business-like demeanor. Although Diana usually handles 47's affairs from afar, she turns out to be a major character in Hitman, Blood Money. Serving as a double agent, faking 47's death, saving the agency from liquidation, and dodging death herself a few times. In the end, her efforts pay off when the agency is brought back online, although it is left unmentioned if Diana has been promoted to a higher position. Diana is voiced by Vivienne McKee. In Hitman, Absolution she is shot by 47 in her home after betraying the agency. Although she was presumed dead, it is later revealed that she survived her injury, and was able to fake her own death. Her current activities are unknown, but post-game events suggest that she is once again working as 47's handler. She also presumably continues to care for Victoria, a young girl that she and 47 rescued both from the ICA and other captors. In the Hitman film, Diana's only form of contact with 47 is through a synthesized voice via laptop. However, she does directly call 47 by phone in order to warn him that the organization has targeted him. Agent Smith, a fairly inept American CIA agent with ties to the agency. He has a tendency to be captured and tortured by the people he has been assigned to spy on. As a result, the agency has sent 47 to rescue him on a number of occasions. His torture experiences have caused him to take up drinking on the job, making him even more ineffective. Like 47, Agent Smith dons a variety of disguises, but most often he's seen beaten and stripped down to his American flag boxer shorts. He seems to regard 47 as a friend, no doubt because 47 has rescued him so many times. The feeling is not mutual. 47 initially treats his relationship with Agent Smith as detached and professional, but as he is forced to rescue Smith again and again he increasingly sees Smith as a hindrance. In Hitman Blood Money after the mission Dance with the Devil, 47 puts a gun to Smith's head and threatens to kill him but in the end didn't as Smith provides him a job which will then lead to the White House assassination. Smith's appearance changes somewhat in Hitman, Blood Money having lost most of his hair through long-term alcoholism and depression. In the Hitman film, Smith is instead portrayed as a very competent and dutiful CIA agent. In return for assassinating a high-priority CIA target, Smith helps 47 elude arrest by Interpol. Mary Ling, a young woman from the Chinese mainland, abducted and recruited into the brothel of Hong Kong crime lord Li Hong 47 rescues her in exchange for information about her employer in preparation for assassinating him. After escaping from Li Hong, Mary Ling is later revealed to be prostituting herself to Hei Moto, another Asian crime lord. 47 ends up rescuing her again. Mary Ling is apparently the first woman who has ever kissed 47. His reaction is different in the original game from the remake. In the original Hitman, codename 47, 47 reacts with significant revulsion. In the remake Hitman, Contracts, his reaction is one of detached bemusement. She was known as Li Ling in the original game. Dr. Otto Wolfgang Ortmeier, 47's creator and the ultimate villain of Hitman, codename 47. A brilliant but dangerous individual. Ostracized by the scientific community for his radical theories on genetic manipulation, Ortmeier ran a sophisticated lab hidden beneath a Romanian asylum. There he labored on DNA splicing in an effort to create a flawless human being. He took a great part in raising and indoctrinating 47 at the asylum, 
where 47 was kept a prisoner until he matured. Ortmeyer eventually engineered 47's escape from the asylum in order to test his performance in the real world. The consummate megalomaniac, Ortmeyer contracted with the agency to have 47 kill the other four men behind the Hitman project, so that Ortmeyer could enjoy the fruits of his labor by himself. Ortmeyer then attempted to lure 47 to his death, having perfected Mr. 48, an improved, mindlessly loyal series of clones. Ortmeyer underestimated how far 47 had advanced, and in the final showdown, 47 slaughtered the 48s and then killed Ortmeyer himself by snapping his neck. References